Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you so much for joining me this week on Tracy's Tuesday Talks. I have a very, very, very special guest with me today, Diana with a company called Talents Ascend. And this week's episode is all about a better way to find a career that you're passionate about and a better way for employers to find qualified candidates. So Diana, tell me about you and tell us a little bit about Talents Ascends. Hi, everybody. I am Diana Marquez and I am with Talents Ascend. I am a military spouse of 18 years. I'm also a military brat. So <laughs> I do understand uh, how everybody is, uh, struggles with trying to uh, find employment, uh, especially as a military spouse, because we bounce around from place to place. And, you know, it, it there is a struggle. Yeah. <laughs> There is a tr struggle trying to find that, you know, that meaningful career, trying to stay in that, you know, that one job that, you know, we can wake ourselves up for. Uh, Talents Ascend is a free nationwide AI powered platform connecting employers to military members, veterans of all eras, military families, uh, people with disabilities, individuals with criminal records, uh, re recent graduates, uh, first responders and anyone else who would like to take advantage of this amazing opportunity. So we're pretty much open to anyone. So, uh, go ahead. So sorry, go ahead. No, you're, you're, you're great. So just, <laughs> to, just to recap that, like this artificial intelligence program is designed specifically for, um, well, anybody can use it yeah. really, but anyway, with, yes. with the military veterans and their families in mind, um, yes a big one that really was just like, really, that's awesome, was people with the criminal background. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. Like those people, unfortunately, get overlooked because they made mistakes in the past. Yes. And also people with disabilities as well. That's huge. Yes, we do have those uh, specific communities um, that's part of our Ascend Collective communities. Um, that's what the Veterans Ascend is part of the Ascend Collective. Mission to Ascend is for the people with uh, criminal records. And the abilities to send is for people with disabilities. Uh, with our platform, there are no resumes, there's no applications, and there are no job boards for you guys to search through. We auto-populate our skills based on your civilian careers and or military occupations. Uh, you can adjust your skills at any time by logging into your profile. And with our platform, uh, your the hiring process has been reversed. So. We don't scrape job postings off the internet. Our employers submit their profile and instantly match with candidates with the skills that they're looking for. So think of it like a dating website, you know, but it's for employment. You know, you fill out your profile, they fill out their profile and you guys get matched instantly. That's like a perfect match. Um, I love and the employers, <laughs> the employers will contact you directly for an interview. So that part is up to you, but we can help you with that. Um, because we do have um, a bunch of partners that we partner with that can help you um, practice for your interview. And we do have employers throughout the entire country. So there are a bunch of positions open everywhere. Nice. So what I'm hearing is, and I love that you compared this to dating websites. It's basically eHarmony for, for companies and job seeking candidates. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. said. You said uh, before you said it was free for candidates. Um, so tell me about that piece of it. So how would um, a candidate hop on there and use the platform? So you would go to um, app.talentsascend.com. Uh, click on where it says I'm a candidate and start filling out your profile. Now, if you're feeling a little iffy about how to do it, we do do uh, walkthroughs monthly, and, or actually now weekly. Uh, we have two of them scheduled weekly, which you can go on to talentsascend.com and look for the link that says, uh, I would like to do a walkthrough. Uh, it is a live demonstration of how to create your profile, which is given by me. Thank you very much. <laughs> And I will walk you through how to create your profile and give you more information about how our system works. Our AI system is um, done by Kate. Uh, that's, we affectionately call her Kate. It is, um, stands for Career AI Talent Equalizer. So what she does is once you put all your information into our system, uh, that includes you know your education, any uh, uh, 
sorry, excuse me, job positions you've had, any uh, military or civilian, uh, your education, any certifications you have. She takes all the skills that you've earned from everything that you've just put into that position and she auto populates all those skills. And then what she does is she will match your skills to the employer's skills that they've listed for the job positions that they're requiring. And that's how you get matched. And you'll be able to see like how many matches you get on your profile. Now you won't be able to see what employers you get matched to because that's, you know, safety uh, reasons. Um, but you also to see if if employers have unlocked your profile. There's, you know, there's two different things. We got matches and we have unlocks. You know, you'll see if you get matches and then we'll, you'll see if um, employers have actually unlocked your profile. And now the difference is the matches, the employers don't see any of your demographics, which is one of my favorite things because they won't get to see how old you are, uh, what gender you are what race you are. So there's no bias going into this. They only get to see what skills you have matching to the positions that, you know, um, they've put out there. And that's my favorite part because you actually have that foot in the door be going in, you know, they're like, oh, wow, this person has this, this, and this, and this is what I'm looking for. So if they're intrigued enough, then they'll unlock your profile and see the rest of they'll see your um, salary requirements, uh, what shifts do you want to work, where you uh, where you want to work, and then they go from there and they're they're even more excited about it. Then they'll um, schedule the interview with you, they'll contact you, and this is where it's all on you. You know what I mean? That's where you have to put your best foot forward, your best face, and be like interview from there show up to the date dressed to impress and ready to go exactly i didn't know about that that piece of it with the basically the non-biased piece like on linkedin i'm constantly seeing hr professionals like posting about bias and the workforce and like how we can become more and more unbiased and you know i've got my own thoughts and opinions on that um i've done bias training i used to be a manager at home depot Department okay. manager and we had to go through all that stuff too and I helped with the hiring process and I love the same thing that you love like it takes all of that out so that way like if you're having a bad day like you're not judged on that is what that sounds like exactly exactly and I mean think of it from the HR side too I if especially like if there's employers watching this think of it from your side uh, if you're getting all these candidates applying. You don't have to sift through all these applications and trying to find that right person. This system does that for you. You know, if you're an employee, you put in what you're looking for and the system will automatically ding you and say, hey, we found a candidate for you. We found a candidate for you. And all you have to do is look and be like, oh, this is what we're looking for. They have what we're looking for. Okay, let me unlock and see what else, you know, what other skills they have and see if this is, okay, this is what, you know, they also have this, they also have this, oh, this is awesome. This is amazing. And then all you have to do is contact them. Hey, we would like to interview with you. So that takes out so much time and effort and exactly. money. It helps the the bottom line because I'm sure that saves so much time and money. Exactly. And, and it's, it's stress, <laughs> so much stress. Oh, the stress. <laughs> and like, like there's some people um, who are wonderful candidates, they just have trouble using transferable skills and putting that down on the resume. So like, I know from my past experience of job hunting, it's just like, dude, I know I can do this job. I have this thing yeah. over here and this thing over here and I can use that to be able to fulfill this position. I think I'm a great candidate, but they were like, no, nope, you have to be specific and you have to have exact experiences and heaven help you if you don't word your resume dang near exactly like the job posting and spend 12 hours a day tweaking every single yes. resume to fit each job posting that you apply for yes that was that was a struggle I had we were stationed in Okinawa came back overseas a year ago I applied for 23 jobs before I got this one and there was I knew each and every one of them was like, I can do this job. I have the skills for this job. I know I can do this job. 
But because my resume wasn't specific to that job, they were just like, nope, sorry. Nope, yeah. sorry. Nope, sorry. And I, one of the jobs that I did interview for, <laughs> the guy that I interviewed with was like 20 years younger than I was. And I saw the look on his face when, when we did the video interview. He just like... <laughs> I guess he was expecting someone a lot younger, but I was like, oh, okay, this isn't going to go. <laughs> oh, no. But yeah, you and automatically I saw the, the bias going into it. So yeah, and it was just, you know, it's it's okay. But at the same time, it's like, I can do this. Yes, I may be older than you, but I can still do this, you know? Right, right. But... <sighs> It happens and that's why we're, we're trying to take that out of this we're trying to you know show people that yes there are biases and it happens intentionally but unintentionally sometimes but it it shouldn't be that way but it it happens but yeah. that's why we're trying to take that out of this system and show people that yes these uh, there are people that do it they have the skills they can do this. We're trying to show them that not only we're trying to show you oh, what's the word I'm trying to say here. We're trying to show them that what you can do, not what you've done. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes. 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 And I love how talents ascend is that middleman to really help qualified people come together in a I'm not going to say minimal effort, but it's definitely a lot better than being like, here, work on your resume. And then you supply it. And then having the same job asked for the last 10 years of addresses and the last 10 years of work history. And it's just like, read my freaking resume, people. <laughs> so <laughs> exactly. It takes out that frustration and that angst because as a company, you don't want to tick off your candidates by exactly. having them do like redundant tasks that take up so much time because that's not respectful on either side. And what I like about our system too is um, when Kate generates your, pro, uh, your, your skills based off all the information you put in, let's say uh, for military personnel, um, let's say they were a mechanic in the military, but they don't want to be turning wrenches anymore. They can tailor their profile and remove like all the mechanics um, skills in there so that they don't get matched to mechanical um, positions anymore, you know, so they can tailor their skills to what they want it to be, you know, Same. and that's what I love about it, you know, so that they would, you know, cause a lot of the times, you know, people will look at the resumes of like, Oh, well, you are a mechanic. Yeah. I got a mechanic position over. It's like, no, 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 that's not what I want to do anymore. You yeah. know? Yeah. I, yeah, I may have done that in the past, but that's not what I want to do. I want to do this now. And I was like, well, that's not what it shows on your resume. It's like, yes, I know that, but that's not what I want to do. You know, and that's what I love about this system is like you can tailor your profile to what you want to do, not to what you have done. And then Kate is the person, the magical matchmaker who steps in and yes. aligns candidates <laughs> with, with employers. Yes. That is yes. Awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, she's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is absolutely an incredible turn in the in the career field, in my opinion. Just oh yeah, I think, I think this is the future because it just takes out so much extra. Yes, it actually provides ease and simplicity and helps people come together who are good matches instead of I hope this person like is actually good their resume might not be written very well or vice versa they have like this powerful awesome resume but in person maybe they don't have the skills right right yeah that is incredible so tell us again that website that people would go to to set up their profile for the candidates as well as if an employer wants to get connected with you to use Talents Ascent? So for the for candidates and employers, it's um, app.talentsascend, which is T-A-L-E-N-T-S-A-S 
C-E-N-D dot com. I know it's kind of long. <laughs> I'll go ahead Sorry. and put it in the, I'll put it in the description as well so people can just okay. copy paste or click on the link. So Diana, yeah. is there anything else that you would like to share about Talents Ascent? No, well, I think that's it. But yeah, it, like I said, if you guys want to uh, come into the walkthroughs as well, uh, it's um, talentsascend.com. Um, you scroll down and you'll see where it says to walk through. For the employers, there is an Ascend Live 360. That's for the employer side of the house. And you can, um, they do a, a demonstration as well at, for more information for the employer side. And that's at Talents Ascend as well. You can sign up for the Ascend uh, Live 360. That's for employers. And then for the walkthroughs is for the candidates. And like I said, for the candidates, it is completely free. There are no hidden fees like, you know, with the other hiring platforms, you know, where you only get like a limited amount. We don't do that. It's you can as long as you want. And we do have like what we like to call like an on off switch, which is our visibility to employers. So if you want to create your your account now and you're not ready to be um to be seen by employers, you can just leave it off. And then when you're ready to like start job hunting, you can turn it on. Uh, so for like military, if you're, you're not out yet, you can create your profile now and then start building up your, you know, your skills and stuff, put it in your profile and then turn it on when you're ready to start job hunting. I'm curious, like I started to do a profile as I was sharing with somebody, but they like, it had me start going through this. And I'm like, I work for myself. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I some time, so I stopped. But now that I know that that's an option, I'm I'm curious as to see what skills Kate says that I have. Yeah. And yeah, and then you can just turn it off, and you don't have to leave it on. So that's awesome. Because you said that you were surprised by some of the things that popped up, and you were like, "Oh yeah, I yeah, there was do that." There was a lot of things. skills that I that I had pop on of mine. I was like, "Wow, I didn't realize I had that many skills." <laughs> <laughs> That is awesome. So Diana, thank you so much for joining me today on Tracy's Tuesday Talks. Guys, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. And audience, thank you so much for joining us. We know that to have that financial freedom, your biggest wealth building tool is your income. And the way to have a good, stable income is to have a career that you love, that you're passionate about, that you are going to thrive in, that you're not going to burn out in, in a year or two. And Talents Ascend can help you get that. So feel free to reach out to Talents Ascend or um, Diana. And if there's anything that we could do to serve you guys, reach out and let us know. Thanks so much. <laughs>